All right, there's two things that I want to talk about in this video. First, I want to talk about and describe the combo system of this game, Killer Instinct. And then I want to talk about the things that I don't particularly like about the state of the game in regards to the combo system. So let's just go straight into it. What is the combo system of Killer Instinct? So it all starts with the opener, and no matter what you do, basically, you will eventually run into a move that the game considers an opener, and for the most part, this includes all jumping attacks and all grounded special attacks. And all the way up until the opener, the game functions mostly normally in terms of, like, how fighting games are supposed to work. Like, I have three versions of this move, the light, the medium, and the heavy. The lighter version have less range and do less damage but they're a lot safer on block and have faster startup but after almost any opener you can start doing actual combos and that's when your moves start to do really weird things for example I can cancel my wind kick into another wind kick and that one hits twice even though the light version hits once the medium version hits once and the heavy version hits once for some reason when I cancel Light wind kick into medium wind kick, the medium wind kick hits twice. So this is where the combo system starts to open up. After an opener, you have three options. You can do an auto double, or you can do a manual, or you can do a linker. But basically, your auto doubles and your manuals are your normal attacks. And then your linkers are your special attacks. So if I input a wind kick, and then I press heavy punch, I get a heavy auto double you see it says heavy auto and the icon above Sidera's head means that the combo is breakable so from here on out the opponent can break out of your combo if they know what strength of attack you're doing so blue means light yellow means medium and red means heavy and your other option is to use your linkers or to use your special moves and most linkers in this game have a certain number of hits depending on the strength you use so if i use light wing kick you can see the linker only hits once but if i do a medium linker it hits twice and if i do a heavy linker it hits three times although keep in mind the way you input linkers is a little bit different you press the light button to do the light linker and the medium button to do the medium linker however to do the heavy linker you have to press either light or medium not heavy and then hold the button down so if i do light and then light and then hold it it does a three hit heavy linker and this is because if i do the heavy button it does an ender and so this goes sort of back and forth you, you can go double linker double linker double linker and the only thing that's keeping you from going infinitely is one the opponent can react and break and two is the kv meter so notice on the far left side of the screen under my inputs is the kv meter you can see it slowly goes up and eventually when it goes over 100 the opponent will flip out of the combo but what was that ender business i was doing before let's talk about enders so watch my opponent's life bar as i do this combo see that portion of their health bar that's blinking white that indicates that i can deal that much damage if i land an ender so for example if i do this bam all that white health is gone but if i make a mistake and i drop my combo or if they blow out because the kv gauge got failed or if they combo broke my combo then they get to keep all that life now you might be thinking well why give them a chance to break why not go straight from opener to ender well if you notice if i go straight from opener to ender i don't get that white health and not only that but it is a free guaranteed combo break if they press light medium or heavy breaker, it doesn't matter. If they press any breaker, they can break out of my opener ender. And if you're curious as to what that looks like, bam, opener ender, they just break with, with whatever strength they want. So again, everything after the opener is breakable if they know what strength you're using for the most part. Which means that if I use a light auto double, they can break by pressing lights. Or if I do, a medium linker they can break by pressing mediums but if they break incorrectly it says walk out and then they lose their ability to attempt a combo breaker for several seconds which means that if i guess wrong 
they get a lot more damage for free. And this is because my highest damage combo route is also, ironically, the easiest to break. Like, I could use heavies and get a lot of damage. But heavies are also the easiest to react to and break. But that doesn't matter if they're locked out because they can't break. Now, I have not talked about the counter breaker. So the way the counter breaker works is if you press mediums while you're the one doing the combo after an opener, then you enter this stance. You put up your weapon and go Fing! If the opponent presses light, medium, or heavy breaker right after you press counter breaker, then this happens, and the announcer goes, K -k 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 Counter Breaker! And you get locked out forever. Which means that I get to do a full combo. But, if you don't press Breaker, then I'm just sitting there like an idiot. So Counter Breaker is the ultimate risk-reward decision. If it works, you get a full combo. If it doesn't work, suddenly you're the one being comboed. So you might have thought to yourself, well, why would you ever do a heavy auto double if anybody can react to it and break it? Well, that's because heavy auto doubles are fodder for counter breakers. Oh, you thought I was doing a heavy auto double and you try to react to it? Oh no. And so once you take all of these pieces and add them together, you have a pretty interesting and unique combo system that doesn't really exist in any other fighting game. Now I did not talk about manuals, but manuals aren't really that important for the sake of this video. But anyway, that's really all that I wanted to talk about as far as the combo system for this video. And now I want to talk about the things that I don't really like about it, and I think that should be changed. And realistically, there's only a couple of things that I would change. So first of all, I think counter breakers are a little bit not complete. Right now, I think they need a couple of changes, because there are several times where I attempt a counter breaker, and it's like, I feel like I guessed correctly, but got a little bit unlucky and there are two things that cause this the first is that if the opponent is a little bit early the counter breaker doesn't work and second is if the opponent is a little bit late the counter breaker does not work so here is an example of where the sidira is going to do a combo on me and she's going to counter break really fast but i am going to try to break incorrectly first before the counter breaker and this is what happens See? It didn't work. I mean, she guessed right, I did try to break, and she did counter breaker, but because I broke like a frame before she pressed counter breaker, suddenly I'm the one landing a combo on her? That doesn't really make much sense to me. And so the way that you would fix this is to make it so that you cannot go for a counter breaker while the opponent is locked out. I think that would make the counter breaker system a lot more fun and consistent and less annoying. And secondly, is if they break late. And you wouldn't think this would be a problem, but it actually is, because the window for your counter break to work is not consistent because it is based on the hit stun of the opponent's character. For example, here, she is doing a light double and then going for a counter break on the first hit of the light double. If me, as a player, am trying to break on the second hit of the light double, my character will have already recovered at that point, which means that I can't go for a combo breaker, which means that her counter breaker cannot work. And so, when I press lights, I'll just get a throw. Like that. And I legitimately cannot tell you how many times I've gone for a counter breaker and immediately gotten thrown or gone for a counter breaker and immediately the opponent uses instinct or I've gone for a counter breaker and the opponent immediately does a standing medium punch. I cannot tell you how many times that has happened to me. It has happened so many times. So that's my first problem with the combo system in this game is counter breakers don't feel right they feel a little bit off and the second thing and the last thing that i want to talk about in this video that i don't like about this game is a change they made a long time ago and that is the damage scaling so if you look in the top right where it says damage if i hit with an attack it says 
a damage number, that's how much damage it deals, and then right next to it, in parentheses, is the damage scaling. So the first hit in the combo does 200%, whereas the second hit in the combo does 67%. You're going from 200% all the way down to 67%. That means that your second attack is doing a third the damage of your first attack. Like I'm going from 10 damage to 3.3 damage. There is not a single fighting game with that crazy high of a damage scaling. And that's just a game design choice. That much I don't have a problem with in isolation, but in combination with the combo system, I think it is a terrible, terrible, terrible design flaw because the two work against each other. Like, if my first hit is doing twice as much damage as any other hit in the combo, why would I ever go for longer combos? Why would I try to interact with the combo system at all? Like, I should just end my combo as fast as I possibly can. And there's evidence of this. If you watch high level play from season one, you see a lot of Jagos doing a really long combos with several chances to break. There's a lot of interaction there between the players on when to break and when not to break. Whereas now that we're in the final season, season three, where it has been for several years, no one's doing long combos like that anymore. They're doing as few chances to break per combo as possible. They're doing combos like this, where they do like a manual and then end immediately because that's just the efficient way to do it because that's really hard to break. You have to guess break. And now suddenly the entire combo system is just like gone because you're not playing it anymore because all of your damage in your combos is front-loaded. Like, yeah, I get it if you have your combo broken, it doesn't feel good, but mix up your combos so that they can't break out of all of your combos. And there's a lot of depth there that is just non-existent in high-level play, because it's just not worth going for anymore. It just doesn't feel nearly as good as it used to. And don't get me wrong, Season 1 had a lot of problems. A lot of problems. But Season 2 and Season 3, I feel like, are just a lot worse. Because of this one simple change where they front load all your damage. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the Killer Instinct combo system. I think it's a very good game. I quite like this game. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Realistically, the only other things that I would change are the hit sparks. Like, that's, that's too much. That's too many particles. <laughs>